Grandma's Fortnight Fail Once upon a time, in the quiet town of Pixelburg, lived a 14-year-old named Jake, who was obsessed with Fortnite. He spent hours perfecting his builds, honing his sniping skills, and mastering his emotes. His dream? To one day go pro and win a Fortnite tournament so huge that his mom couldn't tell him to stop playing. But there was one problem, Jake's grandma, Granny Gladys. Granny Gladys was 70 years old, but she had the heart of a teenager and the curiosity of a toddler. She'd been living with Jake and his family for a few months, and during that time, she'd become fascinated with one thing, video games. Specifically, Fortnite. She didn't understand it. Why is everyone dancing in the middle of a battlefield, she'd ask while Jake played. Or, why do you keep breaking walls? Shouldn't you be building a house instead of running around in circles? One day, Granny Gladys made an announcement that shocked the entire household. I've signed up for the Fortnite Seniors League tournament. Jake nearly choked on his pizza. Granny, what? That's right, she said, proudly holding up a controller she had no idea how to use. I'm going to be the best Fortnite player over 65. They even give you points for making the biggest cake in the game. Right? Jake face bombed. Uh, no, Granny. There are no cakes. That's Minecraft. But Granny Gladys wasn't about to back down. Well, I've got three days to train before the tournament. You're going to help me. Jake groaned. Teaching his grandma Fortnite was like trying to teach a dog to play chess. It just didn't make sense. But since she was determined, he figured it would at least be a good laugh. Day one started off rough. Jake set up the game and tried to teach Granny the basics, how to jump out of the battle bus, how to land without crashing into a tree, and how to loot. Simple stuff right? Wrong. Granny Gladys jumped out of the bus and immediately started plummeting towards the ocean. No, no, no. Use the glider. Jake shouted. I don't see a glider. Granny yelled, squinting at the screen. Press spacebar. Jake screamed. Granny finally pressed the space bar right after she hit the water with the elegance of a dropped sack of potatoes. She immediately drowned. Jake sighed. This was going to be harder than he thought. Day two wasn't much better. Jake tried teaching her how to build a fort, but Granny Gladys had different ideas. What if I just build a big ramp and hide on top of it? She asked. That's actually not a terrible idea, Jake admitted, slightly surprised. Maybe Granny had some strategic sense after all. But five minutes into the match, Granny built a ramp so high it touched the sky. And then she fell off it again. I pressed the wrong button, she explained, laughing as Jake groaned. By day three, Jake was ready to give up. Granny, maybe Fortnite isn't your thing. There's no shame in quitting, you know. But Granny Gladys refused. Quit? Never. I've been alive long enough to know you never give up, even when you're terrible. Finally, the day of the Fortnite Seniors League tournament arrived. Jake sat beside Granny as her coach, trying not to laugh at the sight of all these elderly players logging into Fortnite, their usernames like Wrinkly Warrior and Golden Gramps. The match started, and to Jake's utter disbelief, Granny Gladys survived the first storm circle. Then, 
she found a sniper rifle. What's this long thing? she asked. That's a sniper, Granny. Jake shouted. Stay far away and aim carefully. I've got just the thing for this, she said. Suddenly, she started moving toward the center of the map. Wait, wait, and no. You're supposed to stay back, not charge forward. Jake yelled, but Granny had her own plan. With surprising grace, she built another absurdly tall ramp in the middle of a wide open field. Jake's heart sank as he saw her standing on top, waving her sniper rifle around like a magic wand. But then, something unexpected happened. A group of unsuspecting opponents ran by beneath her ramp, completely ignoring the grandma sniping from the sky. Granny Gladys took aim. She missed the first shot. The second. But then, she accidentally hit one player. He fell. Granny, you got someone. Jake shouted in disbelief. I know, sweetie. Now, watch this. Granny grinned. Granny Gladys, without Jake even understanding how, managed to shoot down two more players from her ramp. And then, while the final storm closed in, she jumped off the ramp, pulled out a rocket launcher she must have found earlier, and blasted the last player straight out of the game. Victory Royale Jake's jaw dropped. Granny You won. Granny Gladys just smiled, popped her knuckles, and said, I've still got it. And from that day on, Jake learned never to underestimate his grandma, even in Fortnite. The End